What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today, I wanted to talk about a discourse that I see all the time. I get this question asked all the time, which is if you carry a full size gun, do you eventually forget that it's there? Or will you ever get to a point where you forget that you're carrying your full size gun? And the answer to that is no. I actually used to say that when I first started carrying full size guns. And you quickly learn that the answer is no, you will never get to a point where you're carrying a full size gun and you're forgetting that it's there. Maybe there's somebody out there who may say something like that, but I don't think that it's possible. As far as what you can do, however, is you can configure what you're wearing and your setup to ease your comfort level when you're carrying whatever it is that you're carrying. So for as an example, uh, I have my Zev OZ9C in my tier one concealed sidecar holster and this is the and this is clear by the way and this is in the basically the, the glock 45 setup the 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 dimensions essentially i have a afterburner on there i have an x200 on there so the way this is set up there's a lot of real estate so naturally i know when i'm carrying my my zev that set up like this every single time that I carry it. Even when I reduce the footprint of this gun, I still remember that I'm carrying it. As an example, today, I'm actually currently wearing, I don't know if you guys can't see that, but I'm wearing pool, pool shorts right now. You know, summertime, we're doing stuff outside, you know, the pool or whatever. And I'm currently carrying my MC9 on me. And she is loaded, so I'm gonna put it right back. I'm currently carrying my MC9. Do I forget that I'm carrying my MC9? Absolutely not. Is it a dream to carry? Yes, it is. Um, it's super comfortable. I'm not wearing, uh, I'm not using a leisure carry or anything like that to carry it. It doesn't droop my swim trunks. It's very comfortable. It's not heavy, but I know it's there. It, there's, it, it's there. Even if you go down even smaller, you're carrying a Shield Plus or you're carrying a Glock 26, I've done that, you still know it's there. So can you increase the comfort level to the point where it's like, you kind of sometimes don't know it's there, maybe, but you're always gonna know it's there. So if you're thinking about buying a full-size gun or if you think about carrying a full-size gun and you're not sure about the comfort level, you're always gonna know it's there. It's never gonna go away the best thing you can do is change configurations and i'm going to show you an example of that so if i put if i put my glock 19 frame style on my zev here it cuts off a significant amount at the grip here and it makes this gun significantly easier to carry now if you take that if i were to put that frame on here okay you reduce that footprint let's say i ditch this holster and i go for something like this and again this cuts off a significant amount now i've completely reduced my footprint it is a lot easier to carry this i can carry this in my pool shorts right now and it would be fine i would definitely know it's there it would be a tad uncomfortable maybe depending on what i'm doing but it, the comfort level from this plus the frame is a lot better. Not only that, carrying an X300, I mean, I, I'm obsessed with X300s. I like putting X300s on everything. I, I think that it's the superior light. You know, you can find me in the comments on that, but I, I put X300s on everything. So I could decide to not, let's say I decide one day to, I don't want to carry an X300. Let's say... We have a TLR 7A here. I'll put it on here. There we go. Tighten this real quick. Let me grab my leather, man. All right, put it in there. So this is a completely different experience carrying this exact setup without this. And especially because the holster configuration changes. So this is a, a T-Rex Arms holster. Carrying this is a completely different experience than carrying this with an X300. I can add the mag, the extra mag uh, section here, and it would be very similar to carrying my Tier 1 Conceal, and it would still 
be a completely different experience. You cu you couple that with having a smaller uh, grip frame, an exponential change there in itself. So it really depends on what you're doing, what you're wearing, the temperature, um, a lot of different aspects, how you wanna carry, how comfortable it is to you. I know guys that carry Glock 17s with X100 on there that they that's their preferred way to carry. They love to carry it that way. Well, do I think that they forget that they're carrying it? Absolutely not. But to them, it's their ideal mode to carry. For me, it really depends on what I'm doing again, what I'm wearing, and what you're willing to give up. So I like to put lights on all my guns. That's another thing. So if let's say, for example, you're not the type of person who likes uh, lights on your weapons or weapon lights on your pistols. I have here my PO1. And this is clear. Again, I have an X300 on here. This carrying this is comfortable. I mean, tier one made it very easy to carry, super comfortable, no complaints about it. But if I, again, take this X300 off, and this is the, the B version. So this is off, and here I have a, another tier one concealed holster. This, is a completely different experience than this. So it really depends on who you are, what you like, where you're going, what you're doing, because are there scenarios where I would carry this like this? Yes, there would be, but they don't happen very often. And when they do, I pretty much always have something like this on me. This is probably my favorite light. Shout out to the old light haters, but this is probably my favorite, you know, EDC light. And if I'm carrying a weapon with no light on there, I have pretty much always have my, an EDC light with me. And not only that, I've trained with the EDC light. Like, have you trained with the EDC light? Do you know how to clear your house with just a handheld light instead of a weapon light? Um, you know, daylight savings, is that going, there's so many different aspects of what the configuration could be. You have to just think about your lifestyle, what you do every day what you wear every day, what you like to wear. I like to wear sweatpants. I like to wear shorts a lot. I mean, it's hot as hell down here in the South. So I like to be comfortable, but I also like full size guns and I like to carry X 300. So I have to kind of, it's a give and take. So some days I can't carry this. I simply can't. Um, and if I can't carry this, um, I pretty much will throw on a different frame and carry lighter, a different holster, or just straight up not carry those at all and take my smaller guns with me. So do you wanna have multiple guns for multiple different reasons, or do you wanna have one gun that can be three guns in one, like the Zev, that allows me to go between bigger and smaller grips, and I can just do a bunch of stuff with this, or you you can afford it and you can do a bunch of other stuff. So. Ultimately, will you ever forget that you're carrying a firearm on your waist or whatever way you carry it uh, in uh, uh, five o'clock, three o'clock, 10 o'clock, appendix, whatever you carry it on your ankle, you're going to know it's there. So that doesn't exist. Figure out what your configuration is, what your comfort level is. Do you like full size guns or not? How many rounds do you want to carry? Do you carry every every day everywhere you go? I mean, are you a woman? Do you wear dresses? So like there's different things that matter and just really think about it instead of just going out there and buy a bunch of different things because you're just going to accumulate stuff just like all of us did. And hopefully videos like this help people out there and make that decision and think about the different configurations because that matters. The way you configure, the way you dress matters as far as comfort level. It's kind of like, it's kind of like wearing Tim's. The first time you start wearing Tim's, you're like, damn, these Tims are heavy. Like these boots are heavy. I don't know how people wear this all the time. Yada, yada. But after a while, you kind of forget that you're wearing Tims. The weight is not an issue, especially if you're wearing every day. Carrying a gun is not like that at all. It's the opposite. It's it. You'll always. Rem it's like the Tim. The weight of the Tims never goes away, and you have to. Your brain relearns every single day that the Tims are heavy. Like that's 
pretty much how it is. It's not like a tattoo where like, yeah, it hurt when you got it and then you kind of forget you have tattoos after a while. It's not like that. So if you, there's videos out there on YouTube that are gonna say that, yeah, you know, depending on what holster you have, if you buy this $180 holster, it's, got, it's like you'll forget that you have a full size. You won't, you won't. Sometimes when you're sitting in the car, it'll be uncomfortable. Sometimes when you're doing something, it's gonna be uncomfortable. The best you can do is reduce your issues as far as like comfort, uh, hot spots that you have, and trying to reduce that as much as possible with configuring your setup the best way that it works for you. So that's all I had today. Hope that made sense. I know I rambled there for a second. Um, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I appreciate all the support I've been getting lately. Um, no words. I did not imagine that I, you know, I get this fast as quick. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I appreciate the likes, the comments, the support that I get. Uh, definitely more to come. Um, working on several, several range videos. I have several of my setups. I want to show you guys how they shoot, how awesome they shoot. So definitely tune in for that. This summer is going to be crazy. Again, thank you so much. And, um, you know, be nice, recycle, do something great, be great. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces.